we get to a lightweight bout between Anthony Showtime Pettis and Tony Ferguson. See, you gotta like what you're seeing in this I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds the knockout. Big body kick. Try to establish that jab. And he landed the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. tonight against Anthony Pettis. Pettis 
gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Visibly limping here. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here. It's hard to find himself in the pocket. That was a nice try. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Now connects with a right. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Ooh, what a punch. Circling to his right. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back. Arch a good round and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent. Better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape. This very, very dangerous position. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Nicely done. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Back to the feet now. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at you. Oh! Oh, straight right. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big box. Misses there with the left. Ferguson gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice. Nice. He lands flush with that right hand. Ferguson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. on point. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Just hard to know what's coming from Tony Ferguson. Hard to know which leg he's going to lead with. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control the fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, yeah? Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision.
The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Anthony Showtime Pettis! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Leave the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight, and he gets a dominant decision. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Ready. Alright, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pickup fight at Portland, Las Vegas, and Really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their U.S. careers. Also. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Oh, strong punch there by Jones. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Wow, what a fight! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful uppercut there. Just out of range with that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he gets the takedown here. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Let's see if he can secure top position after working so hard for that takedown. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Jones. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his... Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. in the books. Second round underway. Jones gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. There with that man, DC. Just out of range with that left hook. 
He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Ooh. It's tough to take down, no problem. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Straight punch lands. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of... There you go. There you and go. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the armbar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Close guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a kimura here. Just missed with the left there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Dig and kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Gets the elbow up into the target. Big leg kick land. Good. All right. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. This and you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around his waist. Good jab. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he goes. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, big head kick there! Oh, Jones gets the tie clinch here. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Oh, he connects there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, man, look at it. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, nice. Tonight. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop you the fight. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. And he's out. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. 
45 seconds remain in the round. Far working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Yeah, he's going to try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so that he can get pressure to... Arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' score cards for decision. All three judges scored this contest 30-27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, John Bones Jones! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision. It is a women's strawweight matchup between Carolina Kovalkiewicz and Michelle Waterson. Interesting to see how this plays out stylistically because both women can truly do it all. This is a very close fight, very competitive fight. Both of these young women are so well rounded that you can't find an advantage for either fighter. I'm so excited I can barely stay in my seat. It's such a fast leg kick. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate, she's so good at timing all of her strikes. Powerful leg kick lands. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Tagged her with the overhead. Take down there by Watterson. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success with this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Watterson's looking for that arm triangle now. right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the grounded pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to get their backs so that she can chase her submission, or they're going to lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. 25 total strikes have now landed for Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Oh, that's a hell of a kick by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now, champ. Great job landing, 
that kick. Watterson gets tagged by the head kick there. Not sure how many more of those she can absorb if she wants nice to stay in this fight. Lane. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Ten seconds to go. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, second round underway. Ooh, what a punch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Wow, what a head kick. An uppercut landed. Huge shots there. Oh. That's a beautiful jab by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. If you fight behind such a beautiful jab, eventually you drop the right hand. Good night. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Kovalkiewicz. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have now landed for Poland's Karolina Kovalkiewicz. And landing with 63% accuracy. How about that? Against Michelle Watterson. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Man, how good is her jab? And there it is again. So that jab has been in her opponent's face from the opening ball. It is crazy to watch this, John. It's amazing for us to sit here and watch someone with his understanding of the striking and an understanding of the jab being first as she is showing us tonight. Big kick lands. Oh, she's got a good left hand and put it to good use there, DC. She's very accurate with that strike. Got clipped with the right hand. All right, so a takedown attempt by her here, DC, but she's unable to get the fight to the ground. She was not able to secure the takedown, but she has to disguise it a little bit better if she's going to take down a fighter as well versed as her opponent. 90 seconds to go in round two. Big punch from the clinch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. She works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Oh, very nice job by her to turn those hips and really dig that foot into the lead leg. Dug it right into her opponent's thigh. Her opponent cannot take many more of these strikes. Y'all are just crazy for choosing this as, as a... What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Oh, keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, Kovalkiewicz is back in full guard. Round three next. Third round underway. And she's doubling up on the jab there. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. It's a beautiful fast quick jab with meaning. Oh, big head kick there. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, nice shot to the body, connects for her there. Somewhat surprising, we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. Big punch land. Ooh. That was a thudding leg kick. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finisher. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground stages, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot to the top. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, 
reach back inside and try to find space. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 80 total strikes have now landed for Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Just below 50% now landing with 47% accuracy against Michelle Watts. The karate hottie gets the takedown, could be big here. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half. Watterson's looking for that arm triangle. to their feet here. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. Again, back into this position. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. She moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. And they both stand up. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. What a fight! All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. The official decision Ladies is in. It resides with Bruce Buck. All three judges score this contest for 928. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Karate Hottie, Michelle Watterson. All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision, and certainly at times looked like maybe the finish would materialize. It didn't. Nonetheless, she gets a W, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If you were waiting for that smile, it wasn't going to happen until the fight was over. Now she can relax a little bit as she wins a unanimous decision. I thought that this was one of her best performances to date. Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. going on sale or you're going to be outside looking. You're going to be standing outside hoping. He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice jab. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, man. Got to check. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation. Just now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Fostering up now. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Who's Demir getting peppered here from the top? He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Ooh, big shot, man. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. 
out of here. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Just misses with that one. Oh! We got a fight, folks. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, the head snaps back. Another combination of uppercuts in the clinch right to the head. Notice how he's throwing his entire hip into every one of these punches. He is looking to shut the lights out. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Booz Demir gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown the tip throughout securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? All right, round two. Booz Demir gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Blocks the shot. <laughs> Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice punch, man. <laughs> A little single collar tie there. How good is that right hand? So a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. Man, the submission attempts keep on coming, going for a choke now. Oh, he's got a choke. And he's out. Just over two minutes now to go. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. 90 seconds now to go round two. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ustamir. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's attacking choke now. And he's out. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Both fighters back to their feet now. Final seconds here of round two. Two rounds in the books. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. It was three back. Cash. <laughs> Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> Every single strike he landed was on point. It was accurate and it was heavy. Every time he let loose, he was able to land and land to great effect. What a punch.
Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh! And both guys really throwing with authority. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Uzdemir's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Ustamir gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. As he gets close, he's out of... Take down here, he gets it. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nice job using this. Nicely done. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, well, time is the end. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so that horn marks the end of the fight. Got to think the decision at this point is just a formality. It was all about his takedown game tonight. Insane performance tonight by this young man. He did a great job of mixing in the takedowns every time they presented themselves. He was focused on doing that. He was happy to embrace the grind tonight, and he did exactly that. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 9-28, 30-27, and 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Paul Benjamin! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion. All right, coming up next, we get to a lightweight bout between Daniel Hooker and Paul Felder. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. 
misses with the right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Felder gets lit up by that straight punch. Huge block there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, nice jab. Felder gets plastered by that uppercut. Back and forth we go. Nice punch there. Flush right hand is true. Big kick lands. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Oh, that's a nice strike. Felder's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Irish Dragon gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Pretty good right hand. Oh, and there's a kick to the body. Not having that one blocked by the Irish Dragon, Paul Felt. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Our second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after him, guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Great punch. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Nice strike. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. That uppercut landed. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh. Back and forth we go. Felder gets caught with that punch. 
Look at the force behind that leg kick. Felder's lower jaw is just now. Wow! He's getting lit up right now, oh. And that's the end of round number two. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, it's one thing to have... Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Felder. High amplitude elbow here, it's blocked. Ooh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh! Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Beautiful body kick. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. One, two, three, five. He's out! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, what a fight! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Daniel the Hangman Hooker! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.